the city now doth like a garment wear the beauty of the morning. Silent, bare, ships, towers, domes, theatres and temples lie open unto the fields and to the sky. The river glideth at his own sweet will, and all that mighty heart is lying still. Morning, Don. Morning. Morning, chum. May I have two on the twos, please? Two on the twos. Thank you. The outside. Right. Control up. Right, thank you. Morning, Bill. Oh, good morning, Bob. How are you this morning? Fine, thank you. Services are normal, except T23 got away a few minutes late and T34 cancelled no guard. All right. And I'm off home to bed. Hello. Cyclone over the North Sea is moving southeast into Germany, while a trough moves across Scotland into the northern North Sea. Regional forecast <coughs> for today until midnight. Southeast region, Midland region. It'll be another hot, sunny day. Afternoon temperatures will rise to between 24 and 26 degrees centigrade, 75 to 80 Fahrenheit, though remaining about 21 degrees centigrade, 70 Fahrenheit in some east coast districts. Winds will be light and variable, mainly eastern. Bye.
8.15. And now here is Jack DeManio with the second edition of today. Good morning. Well, we haven't been on the air since Friday morning except for the first edition, but as we start another week's hard labor, it's interesting to see how some of us have been spending our time since then. Apart from the many thousands of parents who've been to the zoo showing their children to the animals, there are also the man who, in a London pub for a bit, drank three pints of beer in 15 seconds, and who presumably spent a bit more time afterwards recovering. The team of sappers who rendered harmless a 500-pound German bomb pulled up in the Surrey docks by a dredger. A six-ton excavator has been lost at Frankfurt, and the man who went around checking the accuracy of the clocks in the west end of London to discover that out of 77 clocks counted, 41 were wrong. Who says we don't know how to use our leisure? Six was two, 53 was one and a half, and above that, you're all right, Tom. Thank you. Yes. It's uh, 141. Have you got any lights at all? Should be round about on time. Have you got enough? Let the passengers off the car first. Down inside the car, please. Make room for others, please. Housewife's Choice, introduced for today and the next two weeks by John Slater. Hello, good morning, and a nice bright morning it is. Day right with a nice bright tune for Mrs. Elsie Allen of 65 Fitzroy Road, London, NW1, who says that she would like me to play a tune for her sister Mabel, who is in hospital. A gay tune, she says, that will cheer her up and cheer up all the other people who similarly can't get about very much, people in hospital, old age pensioners. 
and anybody else who could do with brightening. So, here's the brightest tune I know, Trish Trash Polka, by Johann Sparks. <laughs> That's another day started. Up in the garden, brew up. I know. Duty, please, one with action. from me for today, but there's always tomorrow. See you then. is just on 10.31. And the next item on the light program is music while you work. my shopping these days. Yeah. Are you likely to be coming over to Hitchin this weekend? Afraid not. It's our anniversary and Jack's taking me to a show on Saturday night. Again, it's the off-cutter, and again it's played down. 
to Cowdery. The big cars come into this corner at about 120 miles an hour. I doubt if he's doing the turn as he comes into it. There he passes now, going into Michael his... Michael Day, are you man. ready, what? Are you ready? Go! I really hope. In yesterday's races, they were four There's seconds... Again, chops it back deep. McKinley gets it back. This time, wrong puts him back. And they're off first time, straight away. And it, this is going to be a question of tactics. Prods in this spot. Rather like an old lady with an umbrella, really. Truman comes in, bowls to him, and he drives the hat. But, but uh, they've never rode right away, but here they come past the post now. With about three strokes to go, there's one, two, three. And the further, first further ahead, there's the ticket, bringing home yet another winner on the line. In second place now. <laughs> about the new Victoria Walthamstow underground. Tunnelling has begun at a number of places. The line will take five years to complete. Over 20 miles of tunnelling will be needed and 12 new stations. Oxford Circus above ground will be roofed over for three years so that rebuilding can go on below. Congestion on other lines will be greatly reduced and a new artery to the northeastern areas of Greater London will be opened up. played in tonight's Saturday concert hour is Mozart's overture to the Marriage of Figaro. The opera, The Marriage of Figaro, based on a comedy by Bernard Shea, was first performed in Vienna in 1786.